Alright. We did a, uh. We did some weird stuff with this define thing. You know, we defined something. And we typed in some stuff. But, uh, the fact is, is that we defined it. Now, let's just keep in mind that this thing that we define, it's some const, it's not a variable. It's not part, it's not really, it's not part of the compiled, compiled program. But, it does, uh, take away some code if it needs to. And it replaces code. We've seen a couple things that it does, because this is, it's explained in the last video that the preprocessor directives will could remove code from your uh, you know from your stuff from your code you remove code from your code okay so it's either defined or it's not defined and uh, I'm not trying to get all philosophical but right now it's not defined and right now it is defined and I want to make that very clear that things can be defined or can not be defined. Well, I'm going to set up an example real quick, a real simple one. I'm going to make three ints. A equals zero. B equals zero. C equals zero. And then I want to output A and line B and line C. And that's what's going to happen. Well, why would I want to do this? Let me show you. I'm going to show you a couple new directives. Zero, zero, zero. Now, what I want to show you is a new directive. It's going to say if def. This is short for if defined. And then what it has to come after this is something like me. So now, what we need next is um. The corresponding end if. And then in here it would say a equals one. Let's run it and see what happens. I get three zero zero. It's because I didn't use semicolons. Oh, actually, that's not why. The commas would have worked fine, but I don't know if I knew you could do that in C++. Use the commas like that. Okay. Let's run it. <clears throat> we get one, two, three. Now, that's because this is defined. Is if this is defined, me. Is it defined? Yes, it's defined, so it's going to execute this code. Now, watch this. Let's say I change it to something else. You. Now watch, this will not compile this before when I press play here, what runs in the background, before this box even comes up, it's going to remove this code, it's going to remove all this from my main function and it's just going to execute the way this stuff is here. And look, it even turns gray. The stuff that's gray will not compile, just like your comments won't compile. The stuff that turns gray is not going to compile. And that's what this does. Is it defined or is it not defined? Well, me is not defined. And these aren't variables. And we can see how we can remove portions of code depending on what's been defined. Up here. Remember in the last couple of videos we were into the problem of stuff that's being defined and what's not going to be defined? Well, that's that could be that's going to be that could be what happens next so let me give you a, a some kind of a example here we can also let me show you one more and then I'm going to end this video if not defined well if me is not defined it's just the exact opposite is it defined it is defined so we're not going to execute this code let's delete this if this is not defined, we're going to execute this. Okay. 
So it's the exact. Uh, it does the exact opposite of if def. So we have if defined, if not defined, and uh, we're going to be using this to um to work out our classes here. And we're going to be putting these in our header files somewhere. See if you can figure out how to do this. If you want to include your character class without without getting this. Um, you don't have to. I'm going to show you in the next video anyway. Or maybe next two or something. We'll see. Without getting this uh, redefinition error. Because we saw this error in the last time because I'm, I'm redefining the weapon header file. When I include the character and weapon here, well, I already included the weapon up here. When I include the character, it's included again. So we're going we're gonna to be using this if and def and end if st stuff because remember there has to be an end if for the if you use if and def or if def you have to have the end if at the bottom to stop it and I can even have it down here because it's gonna it's gotta know when to remove or not remove code from here so let's go ahead and define something me and it'll actually just remove the entire portion from here to here. So if you have an if def or if in def, you're going to need a corresponding in def at the bottom. And that's just the rules for this here. So see if you can figure out where to put those in the character and weapon class before I you watch the next video. But if you don't want to, you don't gotta. I'm going to show you in the next video anyway. So that's the wrap on this video, and that's all the uh... I might show you more later on but that's all the uh... preprocessor directives that I want to be going over and that's pretty much what you're going to use them for now if you go to the uh... let me see what time it is we got seven minutes, we got plenty of time but I'm going to wrap it up in a second anyway so if you look at the IO stream document See, they use it here too. They have, if this thing is defined, it is defined, so this thing turns gray, which means this code's not being executed right now. And then they got this else thing too here. See, you can also use this else, if else, like if this is not defined. Let's see, why did I bring that up? Now I gotta explain it. I'm not complaining now. And if. So right here, if this is not defined, I can say include else do this thing. Oops. Say a is equal to 4, a equals 5, a or c equals 6, and this is a b. Well, I can either I can say this is you, and it'll skip the other ones. Now you notice I think I already said this: the gray does not get comp executed. Yeah, I did say that. The code in gray is not going to get executed for this uh, thing here. And there were build orders, of course. Oh, and that's because I forgot to put this character weapon thing away because we didn't fix that yet. So that's <clears throat> that's all I'm going to show you on the. Uh, um, define if and def else if def thing with jigger here. So I hope you enjoyed this video because we're going to be using these. These things are just going to be normal, normal things to see. If else if if and def if not in def. You got the else and you got the end if at the bottom. So these, are, so these are logical preprocessor directive operators. So, all right. Now it's time to get back to the business in the next video.